Hello. Okay. Um, for the people who don't know me, I want to introduce myself. My name is Hyo, and uh, I'm from Vietnam. You can call me Alex because I used to have time to work with foreigners, so I want to take an English name for for business. So from I'm I'm from Hanoi, so. I want to make a vlog about Hanoi. Uh, firstly, because um, I, I was born in Hanoi, and I really love Hanoi. I, I want to introduce and contribute a little bit about uh, my homeland, and I want to uh, more and more people can know about Hanoi. And I I hope that you can visit Hanoi in some day, and. And at the first vlog, I want to give you the uh, more and more information as I can, uh, so you can have a at least a basic knowledge about Hanoi. And when you come to visit Hanoi, you can uh, see Hanoi in fact in details. So firstly, you can see Hanoi with someone. Uh, you uh, you can. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, this is the seaboard Hanoi. You can see, Tower of Little Raja. Actually, I'm uh, searching information uh, in Wikipedia about uh, so about the common information. Hanoi is the capital of Vietnam and the country's second largest city. Its population uh, is nearly uh, 8 million people. So, to tell you something about the names, Hanoi, Ha, in Vietnamese, Vietnamese language is river, and no, is within, so you can understand Hanoi or Hanoi is river within or river inside. And through history, history Hanoi has many official and unofficial names like Long Bien, uh, Đại La, Thăng Long, Đông Quan, etc. So to tell you something about the history of Hanoi. At prior Tang Long period, Hanoi has been inhabited since at least 3000 BC. The Golan citadel in Dongang district served as the capital of the Ola Kingdom, founded by the Shu immigrant to Fan after his 258 BC conquest of the native Van Lang. Uh, in uh, 10 and 10, Li Thái Tổ, the first ruler of the Li dynasty, moved the capital of Đại Việt to the site of the Đại La Citadel, claiming to have seen a dragon ascending the Red River. He renamed the site Thang Long, a name still used politically to this day. Thang Long remained the capital of Đại Việt Kingdom until 13... Uh, and 97, when it was moved to Thanghua province, when then known as a uh, Taido, the western capital, Thang Long then became Dongdo, the eastern capital. During Nguyễn Dynasty and the French colonial period, uh, in 18, uh, to when the Nguyễn Dynasty was established and moved the capital to Hue. The old name Thang Long was modified to become Thang Long. Soaring Dragon. In 1831, the Nguyễn Emperor, Emperor Ming Mac renamed it Hanoi between rivers or river interior. Hanoi was occupied by the French in 1873 and passed to them 10 years later. 
as Hanoi, it was located in the protector protectorate of Tonkin, became the capital of French Indochina after 1887. During the two wars, okay. About location topography, Hanoi is located in northern regions of Vietnam, situated in Vietnam's Red River Delta, nearly 90 kilometers away from the coastal area. Hanoi contains three basic kinds of terrain, which are the Delta area, the Midland area, and the mountainous zone. To I'm living in southern districts is a uh, maybe not mountainous zone. In general, the terrain is gradually lower from the north to south and from the west to east, with the average height ranging from 5 to 20 meters above the sea level. The hills and mountainous zones are located in the northern and western part of the city. The highest peak is at Mavi with 1,281 meters located in the western part of the region. And about climate, Hanoi features a warm, humid, subtropical climate with plentiful precipitation. The city experiences a typical climate of the northern Vietnam with four distinct seasons. We have uh, four seasons in northern Vietnam, uh, winter, uh, spring, summer and uh, autumn and i don't know but because maybe because the uh, climate change or because the uh, and you know uh, now the weather as a northern Vietnam this year is very uh very strange actually we do not have an uh, autumn anymore i'm very i'm very sad about that so i hope uh, the next year we will have autumn again because you know autumn in in every way actually it's very beautiful you can see the leaf uh, yellow leaf or red leaf very beautiful and very romantic so uh, summer from May until August is characterized by hot and humid weather with abundant rainfall actually September to October is full characterized by a decrease in temperature and precipitation. Winter from November to January is, is dry and cool by national standards. I, I, I think it's not dry and cool. It's dry and cold. And, and the winter in Vietnam is not like in like in Europe or in other place because we in uh, winter we the weather is Actually, it's not dry. It's wet. It's wet and and uh, cold. So it's quite um, you see, it's quite harsh. It's, and and the, in, as the city usually cloudy and foggy is winter, averaging only one point five hours of sunshine per day in February. Okay. About the administrative division, Hanoi is divided into 12 urban districts. Okay, move, move. This block government division. Move. So when, uh, okay, um, about the uh, Hanoi has. 12 urban districts and 17 rural districts and I'm, I'm living in a, one of seven rural districts in a southern district so when you t when you uh, you often say some when you tell about Hanoi you often say about the, the center of Hanoi where it actually is located by the uh, center of administrative body or um, many uh, famous many famous uh, hot spot but actually you should visit to other places of Hanoi 
actually at the Luna New Year and you can see many many beautiful festival and many beautiful uh, uh, game at the time of uh, Luna New Year about population demographics Hanoi's population is constantly growing a reflection of the fact that the city is both a major metropolitan area of northern Vietnam and also the country's political center. This population growth also puts a lot of pressure on infrastructure, some of which is antiquated and dates back to the early 20th century. Actually, this uh, the population of Hanoi now is very big and it puts very big pressure to the Hanoi infrastructure and the um, you can see and, and at the high peak traffic jam is very is really big trouble of Hanoi now and actually the number of Hanoans who have settled down for more than three generations is likely to be very small when compared to the overall population of the city because Hanoi is center of North Vietnam, so the people from uh, the province around Hanoi, uh, they come to Hanoi to not only learn, but live uh, and find a chance to work. So the, the, the population of 8 million is not actually really exactly. I think the population may be bigger, depends on the uh, the time and depends on the age and difference period. About economy, Hanoi has the highest human development index among the cities in Vietnam, according to a recent ranking by a uh, price water house coopers. Hanoi will be the fastest growing city in the world in terms of GDP growth from 2008 to, to uh, 2025. In in the uh, in the in the year 27, 20, uh, 13, Hanoi contributed 12.6 percent to GDP exported, 7.5 percent of total export, contributed 17 percent to the nation of budgets and attracted 22% investment capital of Vietnam. The city's nor normal nominal GDP at current prices reach 21.48 million US dollars in 2013, which made per capita GDP stand at about 3,000 USD. Okay. Similar to Ho Chi Minh City, Hanoi enjoys a rapidly developing real estate market. The current most notable new urban areas are Central Chung Hoa Nhân Chính, meeting the luxurious joints of the main new Siputra and Tam City. Okay. So you can see Hanoi today. Not really good picture. This that is about economy. Um, let me uh, search about something. I can tell you more. Actually, because this is my first video, so. I don't know actually which I should tell you. I want to tell you something about Hanoi, but about Hanoi is very big topic and very diversity. So from the first vlog, I hope I really hope that you can comment below and you can uh, you can like, subscribe and uh, my channel and comments below, and you can ask me some questions about Hanoi and from. From that, I can have more ideas to make the next vlog and to answer your questions.
and I, I will come to the place you want to film. So now we should uh, say some a little bit about the uh, about the about the, some some uh, some of the place you can visit in a uh, uh, Hanoi and I, I will advise you some of the uh, famous cuisines of Hanoi okay if you want if you when when you come to Hanoi for the first time you will come to Nội Bài Airport and from Nội Bài Airport you can take um, many kinds of uh, transportation to central Hanoi like you can take taxi uh, Bus, bus. You can take the bus seventeen, or uh, seventeen. I choose seventeen to the center of Hanoi, to to the Long Bien, and then you can uh, walk, or you can uh, take uh, the next bus to the Wan Kim Lake. About the cuisine, Hanoi has. I I think cuisine is uh, something uh, is one of the most. Uh, is one of the most favorite thing you want to you want to find and want to search about Hanoi. Hanoi Hanoi has rich traditions in cuisine. Many of Vietnamese most famous dishes such as pho pho you can if say pho right we say pho is from Hanoi. Chả cá chả cá lạ you can say bánh cuốn. I I really love bánh cuốn. Actually, love bánh cuốn. It tastes very good. Bánh cuốn. Uh, all of that are believed to have originated in Hanoi. Perhaps most widely known is pho, a simple rice noodle soup often eaten as breakfast at home or at street side cafes, but also such in restaurants as a meal. To vary varieties dominated, uh, dominate the Hanoi scenes, pho bò, containing beef, Phaga containing chicken, bún chả containing pork. Vietnam's national dish first has been named as one of the top five street foods in the world by Global Post. You should try it. And Hanoi has a number of restaurants whose menus special, special, specific, specifically offer dishes containing dark snake. Oh, I do not keep. I could not give it. And very special of insects. Oh my God, insect. The signature dishes at this, this restaurant are those con containing persist and eggs, often in the culinary styles of Thai people or Vietnamese, uh, Vietnam Mường and Thai ethnic people. About the people, we have uh, 54 um, ethnics in Vietnam, and about the Vietnamese uh, ethnics, uh, maybe I will make a topic uh, uh, about the Vietnamese ethnic. It will be very interesting. About okay, let me see whether I can tell you, huh? About Hanoi. Okay. Maybe it's quite enough for you to understand about Hanoi. If you want to, uh, if you want to ask me questions, please comments below, and I am very appreci appreciate it. And I hope you can enjoy my first below, and uh, I hope I can. Uh, do better at the next time. Thank you. Thank you and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.